Right now at 5, we're learning just how lucky four officers in Polk County are to be home with their families tonight. A wanted and dangerous man opened fire on them last night, but missed. Our Ryan Raish is live where all this went down. And Ryan, that suspect died this morning, and Sheriff Grady Judd is surprised none of his detectives got hurt. It really is a miracle, Jameson. It happened right here. And tonight we're learning that one of those four officers was actually standing in front of the car, in plain sight of the suspect through the windshield. He's probably one of the luckiest men in Polk County tonight in what the sheriff describes as suicide by cop. It, in that drive-by, yes. Tammy Higgins was in earshot of the chaos. She pulled in just as officers started CPR on the man who tried to kill them. I'm very thankful that they are um, okay, and everybody got to go home last night to their families. Detectives with the drug task force knew exactly who they were dealing with last night when they rolled up on Francis Perry as he pulled into this home in Lakeland. He's a known fugitive with a long, violent past. There's the guy that chose to shoot it out with the detectives last night. Sheriff Grady Judd says four detectives with four different agencies repeatedly demanded Perry to roll down the window and put his hands up. He instead chose to reach for a stolen 9mm Glock and open fire. And quite frankly, I'm not sure how he missed the two detectives on the right side of the car. Perry got off five rounds. All of them missed. The four officers unleashed at least 28 bullets, ending the gunfight in mere seconds. But quite frankly, there's no way to save Perry because he's full of holes. Perhaps the best witness of the night, the shooter's friend, William Klug. Are you William? He made the wise decision to listen to officers' demands to get on the ground. Would only tell me he lost his friend in the shootout. What about those officers that were in the gunfire? Investigators say Perry sealed his own fate. Experienced detectives were in a gunfight for their life last night. And they won. Now, inside the suspect's car, the sheriff says they found about $4,500 in meth. That's a trafficking amount of meth. The four officers involved are now on paid leave, which is standard procedure. Live in Lakeland tonight, Ryan Raish, ABC Action News.